And, oh, man, when does stop and frisk, uh, not stop and stand your ground, uh, come into being? It's like, well, it okay. came in a while ago, and if you had been paying attention, because these are the laws that affect you. Where do not we us. go? Where do we go? Where do you go? You go to the people with the information. You ask questions. You got, you know, where did we go? We went to people. We had less information than you guys got. We had three. <laughs> we, in the old days, <laughs> we only had three networks. <laughs> And find whatever you want and never leave your house but you will only go this deep if you want she's changing the world she's an AIDS activist an education activist she's changing policy if you want to have an impact you got to get up and go to the Hillary Clinton you rally if that's out. your side you got to go to the Jeb Bush rally when he comes to wherever you live you, you've got to go and listen to these guys you got to get a spot on the rope line and say how would you vote on the constitutional amendment to ban gay marriage how what would you do but and I then you got to I mean see I just don't see that happening well, well, then, well, then, then you, you, then you, you cannot yeah. bitch you cannot bitch about what what it is you can change it it will change it will evolve it always will but for right now this is what we need we need y'all to stand up and say we don't like stand your ground rules because it affects us un in, agree, in crazy ways going to Hillary Clinton rally is, is, is gonna that may, in that may way I, is gonna make it, that happen may I well, say it, something when it, I... it's a that was I'm sorry baby that was one thing right. that was sh what she was right. suggesting what I think we're saying is I, you I have to get out Jeb Bush Rally. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> but what we're saying is that right now, as we go into this transition, you guys have to become more proactive, and you have to know that a lot of Not folks you are guys. trying to I catch think you up. Guys know everybody. You know, well, well, but but we're talking about old folks and young folks. You know? see, uh, what about online voting? I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off, Miss Rose. But yeah. what about online voting? You say nobody can come out. You have it on a Tuesday. It's been that way since voting rights were in place. We have been change trying it. to change. Well, we can't change You're, it until y'all start bitching right. about it. Too. I'm bitching. All right. <laughs> When I did become an AIDS activist, I was very young. I was 19 years old. And did you march? And did you go to I, meetings? Prior to that, I was saying, why is there an AIDS epidemic? How come there isn't a cure? Um, how do I... How, how do I not letting people go to the I, hospital? How, yes. Or get why, How do I fight this? I didn't know. I didn't know, and there was this wonderful woman named Lori Fabiano, mm -hmm. who was the head of the GMHC. Yep. I went to her. I went to her and I said, please teach me about advocacy. Yeah. Please teach you me got, about this what, and that. And I made do. many mistakes. I, 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 I did not change the world. Is Beyonce is going to be more popular to us than a politician. But that's she why you'll never us. change the world the way we she did. She got AIDS drugs to people that need, that, you, you, need help. Help. you need to help people that you care about. That's all it is. You care about You need to hit in the middle. Here's the problem that you guys don't understand is there's a lot of folks, you know, these gadgets and Facebook and all of this social media stuff happen like this for us. We have been expected to know how to do it. Do it. You know, my granddaughter, my great granddaughter, this little girl has slide finger. Yeah. <laughs> she was born with slide yeah, finger. She knows what to do. Can you I can do it. Yes. Can do it. Yes. They yeah. know what to do. So what you have to understand is we're trying to catch up as well because we have a lot of stuff to unlearn because it's, it is a brand new world. <laughs> but you all have had less time to have to deal with the stuff that we've had. So you all have to be much more patient and understand we're trying to get to you. We're trying to get to that middle because time is a waste. Yes. We don't want to lose you. Now, we're going to go and come right back because we don't want to lose you either. <laughs> Bad rap? How the son of Tom Hanks is causing a social media firestorm over the most controversial word in America. Next. Tracy Morgan is speaking out for the first time on TV since his devastating car accident. He says he still has a big hurdle to climb on the road to recovery. Take a look. I love comedy. And I wonder how I'm going to be funny again, how I'm going to get to it. And the fans let me know we can't wait for you to come back. We can't wait for you to come back. And I, I can't wait to make them laugh again. Oh, oh that's heartbreaking. Tracy. You know it, right? Yeah. There, there's no... 
There's no way you're not coming back. First of all, that cane alone is <laughs> enough to, to get you go, going with material forever. Come on, we'll wait. We'll wait as long as it takes. Yeah. We'll do it. But, and maybe, you know, we're, maybe we're going full circle because we started this morning with Bruce Jenner and we're going to sort of end this... Uh, Bout of hot topics, kind of with the Bachelorette, <laughs> which was on last night, and apparently romance is in the air, heading in a direction that I think a lot of people never saw coming. Take a look. I feel like I've connected with JJ probably more than Caitlyn right now because we're just so similar. It's actually absolutely insane. I never thought that I'd meet someone like that here. We've grown very close, almost too close, I think, at times in the room and stuff like that, and in the shower. The possibility of coming onto The Bachelorette and falling in love with a man never crossed my mind. But I believe in the process, and at this point, I'm a success story. what gender you are you can fall in love with anybody it doesn't always have to be sex although it might be but it could not it could not have been and i think that it's about time for an lgbt lgbt bachelorette or bachelor on tv it's necessary i mean i'm sorry to be a buzz scale but i think they are hot drunk and bored you think it's a stunt i think they are hot drunk and bored oh and only God. only like one guy gets the girl and so they're like eh, what else is here <laughs> put it like this. People have been saying for quite a long time that it is time for uh, the bachelor or bachelorette uh, to be a same-sex bachelor or bachelorette. And maybe this is their step in that direction. But, you know, love is in the air, honey. Romance. You get it where you can. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You do. You get it where you can. Big shocker. I watched it last night. I was like, oh my gosh. Well, why, why were you shocked? I just, it just came out of nowhere. I'm like, when he was like, I'm falling in love with him, I'm like, okay, romance, real romance. I'm like, holy mm -hmm. shit. <laughs> I'm a deal. Here's a show, here's a show coming up. Yeah. The Bachelor, for real. <laughs> for real. One of my favorite people, this is going in a whole other direction, which you're used to, but one of my favorite people and one of my good friends, the master of horror, the fabulous Stephen King, has a brand new book out called Find His Keeper. And thanks to Scribner, members of our audience get to take one home with them. Sheldon and Amy really over for good? Does a modern family star actually send him X-rated stuff in the mail? Jim Parsons reveals if this is true or Bazinga next. You love him as Lord of the Geek Sheldon Cooper on TV's biggest sitcom, The Big Bang Theory. But now he's playing the almighty himself on Broadway's In Act of God. Please welcome Emmy winner Jim Parsons. that up really bad you know i just they said it's in the middle so i was like go to the middle go to the middle you know i follow direction but i don't improv well sign language both of you were like going go it's subtle but it's helpful so the bachelorette huh what do you think oh well i think first off it's very funny you have a your your view on it is kind of like it's like prison for these people there's one girl what else are we supposed to do what the hell um but no, I've never watched it. Maybe no? time to check it out. Do you believe that? I just said I'm like, do you believe not... it? 
It seems stunty to it me. It seems stunty. Yeah. Do you think I it's mean, a stunt? You do. I, I think even if it's a stunt, yeah. thank goodness it's yeah. happening. Just changing. I mean, I love agree. this romance, but yeah. I just, I don't think it's real. I think the music really kind of blew it for me. Why in the broke back mountain yeah. theme? No, that I didn't agree. seem right. But, but what you say is true. I mean, if we're going for, if, if a ratings draw is now gay love, we've come a long way, baby. Yeah, I, I agree. Let's go ahead and win. But I think that should be the next season, right? Yeah, it should yeah, be a same, absolutely. A same-sex marriage, a bachelorette, absolutely. you know, looking, you know, a woman looking for a woman or a man looking for a man. Yeah. I think trying to sneak it in as like a trial yeah, balloon yeah, is yeah, a little yeah. 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 What would God say about this? He live and let love or maybe that um i saw the play and god has a firm stance on gay marriage he and says gay love. thou shalt not tell others whom to fornicate you guys have to see this that. play i saw it i saw it on opening night it's absolutely amazing it's based off of a book and also somebody that i'm, I'm sorry i forgot the guy's name david, Jabberbone. david yeah. thank you very yeah. much he started the tweet of god and yeah. um how how do you like playing this part so far you're in a toga and plaid I mean, yeah yeah well because the premise is that god has come down and taken over there i am playing behind us um <laughs> You can see my plaid shirt sticking out. He and my red shoes. Thank you. Those are supposed to be mine. He came down, he took over my body, and he's got some stuff he needs to say to the people. But if he couldn't say it as him, because his essence is ungraspable, so is this too confusing? And he, um, no, he, he said that I have a winning and likable personality and that I will make his message go down easier. I like that. And, and I saw uh, you in another interview. Yes. First of all, I love you in Big Bang Theory. And I, I have friends that are here today that have never wanted to come since they started the no. show. But because you're here, they came to see you. So I know That's very you touch sweet. lots of people's lives. I hope I don't disappoint. No, you, I mean, just the entrance alone, right? Oh, you're um, right. You're so, right. I heard you say with um, Charlie Rose that you memorized this play and that you did it in addition to the show. Mm -hmm. and the, but was that hard with all the thou, thou shall, thou shalt? You know, it was it very... Well, what was funny was that, like, as opposed to, like, the TV show where there's a bunch of science that I, I really don't understand a lot of it. <laughs> that makes you feel so much better. I feel so Believe dumb me. when I watch Big Bang. Uh, no. Yeah, I do. Um, uh, She's a me too. <laughs> but um, th this was more of a situation. Everything rang a bell. I went to church all my life, and so everything rang a bell. But there was like between the omnipresence and the omniscience and the um there's another one too yeah. i see it every night like, there's yes. so many omni yes that I, i'm like i know what they all mean but i really had to keep looking up to go you should really double check that before you you know <laughs> so you don't switch any of them yeah, yeah. it's uh exactly. biblical speak is like learning shakespeare or science it's mm -hmm. like we don't talk Good like language. that yeah yeah Thou shalt, though. So that makes you even more impressive to me. Does it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm here to impress you. Yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you. So are they. Okay, Jen. Yes. I have to ask you, Big Bang series, yes. season finale, Sheldon yeah. and Amy, they break up over Skype. Yes. Devastated. You were going to propose to her. Yeah. This was news to me, by the way. It was news? Oh, always. And, in fact, I have no idea what's coming next. That was my next question. Yeah. You I have no idea. idea. No, although... It would be unbearable for Sheldon me. I would, be, I would find it unbearable to go to work and not be paired with her. I really would hate that. Um, so, I mean, my certainly, as an actor, my wish is to keep getting to work with her. I can't imagine, without knowing, I can't imagine they're going to keep those two apart. They're a wonderful couple. I mean, you're so good at it. I mean, the show is amazing. Oh, thank you. She has every right to be frustrated, you know, the way they've set it up. I like how they handle it. took a very long time it to get been. there. That being said, he's always, and I'm going to say this is all serious about a sitcom, but he's, <laughs> he's always been very upfront <laughs> about who he is, and, you know, he's very honest with her. And so I think it's, I, I hope it's a momentary lapse of catch a breath and, you know, get back to, I don't know. Well, speaking of romance, how's Todd? Todd is wonderful. Todd's probably watching this right now. Hi, Todd. Good morning. Hi, Todd. Yeah. And you guys have been together for 12 years. 12 years. 12 yes. years. Are you going to get married? I don't know. I mean, I guess I, I kind of think so, but like there's no date in the book or a ring on a finger. So I don't know. I don't. Uh, you say no. You know what? You know what's very funny to me? I mean, I'm 42 now, and so much of my adult life, that wasn't really a possibility or whatever. And I have grown more interested in the idea and certainly supportive of the notion. Absolutely. And if, if, and if my were to get married would help the notion in general, even that might be enough to make me want to do it. My own personal interest in it has never been that high. Yeah. But I think a lot of it has to do... Well, no, that's not... I, 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 I hope, I hope Just God me. feels the same. 
thing. What I, I think, think, I mean, both of us, we're roughly the same age, and we just didn't grow up with that as a possibility, yeah. and so we have a very, very happy life. Well, it very yeah, together. I mean, I always say to people, it, it depends on what you're looking for. Yes. If, you know, if you're marrying for, you know, reasons that have to do with, you know, if something, God forbid, should happen to me, Absolutely. I want to make sure that this person... Mm -hmm. you know, if it's for that reason, okay. Yeah. But I think... If you love somebody, you're you're married you're to them. I, I, you're that's already exactly there. how it that's feels. So that's certainly I, I, how it I, feels. I don't do it. No, I, yeah. I, I can see that. And he makes you so, so happy. You guys are so, guys so are happy. Cute. Oh, completely. Do you guys want kids? No, no children. Two dogs will do just fine. Thank you. Right. <laughs> All right, thanks, Adam Parsons. You can catch an act of God at Studio 54 right here in New York City. We'll be right back. You go see it. Go see it. It's great. Thank you. <laughs> girl in the world read, Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. And the one and only Judy Bloom talks about writing children's classics your kids are reading now and grown-up novels you can't put down. Next. Okay, Jen. Yes. I have to ask you, Big Bang Theory yes. season finale, Sheldon yeah. and Amy, they break up over Skype. Yes. Devastated. You were going to propose to her. Yeah. This was news to me, by the way. It was news? Oh, always. And, in fact, I have no idea what's coming next. That was my next question. Yeah. You I have no, no idea. idea? No. Although... It would be unbearable for her. Sheldon I would be. I would find it unbearable to go to work and not be paired with her. I really would hate that. Um, so, I mean, my certainly, as an actor, my wish is to keep getting to work with her. I can't imagine, without knowing, I can't imagine they're going to keep those two apart. They're a wonderful couple. I mean, you're so good at it. I mean, the show is amazing. Oh, thank you. But she has every right to be frustrated, you know, the way they've set it I mean, up. It's I like how they handle it. a very long time it to has get been. there. That being said, he's always, and I say this is all serious about a sitcom, but he's, he's <laughs> always been very upfront <laughs> about who he is, and, you know, he's very honest with her. And so I think it's, I hope it's a momentary lapse of catch a breath and, you know, get back to, I don't know. Well, speaking of romance, how's yeah. Todd? Todd is wonderful. Todd's probably watching this right now. Hi, Todd. Good morning. Hi, Todd. Yeah. And you guys have been together for 12 years. 12 years. 12 yes. years. Are you going to get married? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I kind of think so, but, like, there's no date in the book or a ring on a finger. So I don't know. I don't... Uh, you say no. You know what? You know what's very funny to me? I mean, I'm 42 now, and so much of my adult life, that wasn't really a possibility or whatever... And I have grown more interested in the idea and certainly supportive of the notion. Absolutely. And if, if, and if my were to get married would help the notion in general, even that might be enough to make me want to do it. My own personal interest in it has never been that high. Yeah. But I think a lot of it has to do... Well, no, that's not... I hope, I, I hope, I hope just me. feels the same. What what I, I, think, I mean, both of us, we're roughly the same age, and we just didn't grow up with that as a possibility, yeah. and so we have a very, very happy life. Well, it very yeah, together. I mean, I always say to people, it, it depends on what you're looking for. Yes. If, you know, if you're marrying for, you know, reasons that have to do with, you know, if something, God forbid, should happen to me, Absolutely. I want to make sure that this person, you know, if it's for that reason, okay. Yeah. But I think... If you love somebody, you're you're married you're to them. There. I, I, you're that's already exactly there. how it that's feels. That's, that's I, certain I, how it feels. I don't do it. No, I, yeah. I can see that. <laughs> and he makes you so so happy. You guys are so guys so happy. Are cute. Oh, completely. Do you guys want kids? No, no children. Two dogs will do just fine. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thanks, Adam Parsons. You can catch an act of God at Studio 54 right here in New York City. We'll be right back. You go see it. Go see it. It's great. Thank you. <laughs> Girl in the world read, Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. And the one and only Judy Bloom talks about writing children's classics your kids are reading now and grown up novels you can't put down. Next. The dentist. Oh, I love that. And you know, it was the dentists who were called in yeah. to identify yeah. the victims. Yeah. But no one ever talked to us yeah. about it. I mean, my father never came home and said, Well, I knew what he was doing. Right, right. But no one sure told us no. because it was the early 50s. They didn't tell us anything. anything. About God, anything. I just have to say, you changed my teen years. I mean, I honestly, I've loved you for however, 42 years. But um, why did it take you 17 years to write this book? Because it's been 17 years since you wrote an adult book. Oh, yeah, but I wasn't working on this book right. for 17 years. No, <laughs> this book took long enough, five years. Right, yeah. Five years but is a long, a long, long time with long, one book. A yeah. long time for one book. A long time 
to do the research, which I loved. And all my non-fiction writing friends right. said, oh, yeah, yeah, you love the research, but then you still have to write the book. Right, right, right. You say you can't imagine writing another book. Do you, is this the I end? I say that, you know, I, my husband says, ah, oh, she says that every yeah. time she finishes yeah, a book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I, I want to, yeah, I want to ask you because one of the things, as you know, that makes that drives me crazy is you probably have more books on the banned book list. You have helped young people figure out so many things. Why, why do they ban your books? What, what is it about you, Judy Bloom, and your books? Look at me, I'm scary. <laughs> what is it? About Seventy-seven you? years old, and I'm scary. It's insane. Um, well, it's people who, you know, it's fear. It's fear of if my kid reads this book, uh, they might my kid actually will know what's it. happening. They might do it. It might happen to oh. them, right? I have news. It's going to happen yeah. whether yeah. your kid reads this book or not. Yeah. I mean, they don't want to talk to their kids yeah. about um, having this. I mean, I'm with mom. You're 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 much, much, your mom raised me. Yeah. I feel the same I way you up did. in the 80s. Um, you know, I remember when some of the books were banned and my parents let me read you. Good and but other parents did not and I think it all came from fear. Yeah. And it I, I just I, I it changed who I am. It changed you know, what? about sexuality and my own. Yeah. It's amazing. Fear is contagious. Yes it is. And so we've gone from extreme right, yeah. religious right, right, who were the first ones to do this Random. all the way to the left. Yes. Everybody wants to get rid of something. There's no such thing as a safe it's book. So well, that's really, and if you keep stupid, they only become stupid children. You don't, it does, you know, listen, you have to come back. Face to the earth. Yes. yes. Thank you to Judy Bloom. We will be right back. Just getting started, because the hot topics keep going online 24-7. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram for web exclusives, a backstage view, to weigh in on the hot topics on your mind and the topics you want the host talking about. to let you know that Raven and Molly will be back tomorrow. We want to thank you guys, our audience, because without you, who, who are we talking to? So we want to thank you for checking us out. We want to hear whatever. And I have grown more interested in the idea and certainly supportive of the notion. Absolutely. And if, if, and if my were to get married would help the notion in general, even that might be enough to make me want to do it. My own personal interest in it has never been that high. Yeah. But I think a lot of it has to do, well, no, that's not right. <laughs> Just God me. Feels the same. Well, right. I, think, I mean, both of us were roughly the same age, and we just didn't grow up with that as a possibility. Yeah. And so we have a very, very happy life. Well, it's very yeah. Together. I mean, I always say to people, it, it depends on what you're looking for. Yes. If you know, if you're marrying for you know reasons that have to do with you know, if something God forbid should happen to me, Absolutely. I want to make sure that this person. Mm -hmm. If it's for that reason, okay. Yeah. But I think. If you love somebody, you're you're married you're to them. There. I, I, you're that's already exactly there. That's how I feel. That's I, certainly I, I, how I feel. I don't do it. No, yeah. I, I can see that. And it makes you so so happy. You guys are so guys so are happy. Cute. Oh, completely. Do you guys want kids? No, no children. Two dogs will do just fine. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thanks, Adam Parsons. You can catch an act of God at Studio 54 right here in New York City. We'll be right back. You go see it. Go see it. It's great. Thank you. <laughs> girl in the world read are you there god it's me margaret and the one and only judy bloom talks about writing children's classics your kids are reading now and grown-up novels you can't put down next the dentist oh, i love that and you know it was the dentists who were called in yeah. to identify yeah. the victims yeah but no one ever talked to us yeah. about it i mean my father never came home and said well I knew what he was doing, right, right. but no one sure. told us because it was the early 50s. They didn't tell us anything, anything. about God anything. Right. I just have to say, you changed my teen years. I mean, I honestly, I've loved you for however, 42 years. But um, why did it take you 17 years? to write this book because it's been 17 years since you wrote an adult book oh yeah but i wasn't working on this book right. for 17 years no <laughs> this book took long enough five years right yeah five years but is a long, a long, long time, time with one book a yeah. long time for one book a long time 
to do the research, which I loved. And all my non-fiction writing friends right. said, oh, yeah, yeah, you love the research, but then you still have to write the book. Right, right, right. You say you can't imagine writing another book. Do you, is this the I end? I say that, you know, I, my husband says, ah, oh, she says that every yeah. time she finishes yeah, a book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I, I want to, yeah, I want to ask you because one of the things, as you know, that makes that drives me crazy is you probably have more books on the banned book list. You have helped young people figure out so many things. Why, why do they ban your books? What, what is it about you, Judy Bloom, and your books? Look at me, I'm scary. <laughs> what is it? About? Seventy-seven years old, and I'm scary. It's insane. Um, well, it's people who, you know, it's fear, it's fear. It'd be more popular to us than a politician. But that's she why you'll never us. change the world the way we she did. She got AIDS drugs to people us. that, need, that no. you need to help people that you care about. That's all it is. You care about. You need to hit in the middle. middle. Here's the problem that you guys don't understand is there's a lot of folks, you know, these gadgets and Facebook and all of this social media stuff happen like this for us. We have been expected to know how to do it. Do it. You know, my grand or my great granddaughter, this little girl has slide finger. Yeah. <laughs> she was born with slide yeah, finger. She knows what to do. Can you I can do it. Yes. Can do it. Yes. They yeah. know what to do. So what you have to understand is we're trying to catch up as well. Because we have a lot of stuff to unlearn because it's, it is a brand new world. <laughs> yes. But you all have had less time to have to deal with the stuff that we've had. So you all have to be much more patient and understand we're trying to get to you. We're trying to get to that middle because time is a waste. Yes. We don't want to lose you. Now, we're going to go and come right back because we don't want to lose you either. <laughs> Bad rap? How the son of Tom Hanks is causing a social media firestorm over the most controversial word in America. Next. Tracy Morgan is speaking out for the first time on TV since his devastating car accident. He says he still has a big hurdle to climb on the road to recovery. Take a look. I love comedy. And I wonder how I'm going to be funny again, how I'm going to get to it. And the fans let me know we can't wait for you to come back. We can't wait for you to come back. And I, I can't wait to make them laugh again. Oh, oh that's heartbreaking. Tracy. You know it, right? Yeah. There, there's, no, there's no way you're not coming back. First of all, that cane along. <laughs> it's enough to, to get you go, going with material forever. Come on, we'll wait. We'll wait as long as it takes. Yeah. We'll do it. But, and maybe, you know, we, maybe we're going full circle because we started this morning with Bruce Jenner and we're going to sort of end this uh, bout of hot topics kind of with The Bachelorette, <laughs> which was on last night. And apparently romance is in the air, heading in a direction that I think a lot of people never saw coming. Take a look. I feel like I've connected with JJ probably more than Caitlyn right now because we're just so similar. It's actually absolutely insane. I never thought that I'd meet someone like that here. We've grown very close, almost too close, I think, at times in the room and stuff like that and in the shower. The possibility of coming onto The Bachelorette and falling in love with a man never crossed my mind. But I believe in the process and at this point, I'm a success story. Anything about anything. I just have to say, you changed my teen years. I mean, honestly, I've loved you for however, 42 years. But um, why did it take you 17 years? to write this book, because it's been 17 years since you wrote an adult book. Oh, yeah, but I wasn't working on this book right. for 17 years. No, <laughs> this book took long enough, five years. Right, yeah. Five years but is a long, a long, long time with long, one book, a yeah. A long time for one book, a long time to do the research, which I loved, right. and right. all my non-fiction writing friends right. said, oh, yeah, yeah, you love the research, but then you still have to write the book. Right, right, right. You say you can't imagine writing another book. Do you, is this I the end? I say that, you know, I, my husband says, ah, oh, she says that every yeah. time she finishes yeah, a book. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I want to, yeah, I want to ask you, because one of the things, as you know, that makes, drives me crazy is you probably have more books on the banned book list. You have helped young people figure out so many things. 
why why do they ban your books? What what is it about you, Judy Bloom? And your books? Look at me, I'm scary. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? About 77 you? years old and I'm scary. Okay. It's insane. Uh, well, it's people who, you know, it's fear, it's fear of if my kid reads this book, uh, they might my not kid actually will know what's it. happening. They might do it, it might happen to oh. them, right? I have news. It's going to happen yeah. whether yeah. your kid reads this book or not. Yeah. I mean, they don't want to talk to their kids yeah. about um, having this. I mean, I'm with mom. You're, you're, you're growing up, your up in the 80s. raised me. I yeah. feel the same I way you did. Growing up in the 80s, um, you know, I remember when some of the books were banned and my parents let me read you, Good and geez. but other parents did not, and I think it all came from fear. Yeah. And it... I, I just, I, I, it changed who I am. It changed you know, what? about sexuality and my own. Yeah. It's amazing. Fear is contagious. Yes, it is. And so we've gone from extreme right, yeah. religious right, right, who were the first ones to do this, Random. all the way to the left. Yes. Everybody wants to get rid of something. There's no such thing as a safe it's book. So well, that's really, and if you keep stupid, they only become stupid children. You don't, it does, you know, listen, you have to come back. Face to the earth. Yes. Thank you to Judith Bloom. We will be right back. Just getting started, because the hot topics keep going online 24-7. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram for web exclusives, a backstage view, to weigh in on the hot topics on your mind and the topics you want the host talking about. to let you know that Raven and Molly will be back tomorrow. We want to thank you guys, our audience, because without you, who, there's no way you're not coming back. First of all, that cane alone is <laughs> enough to, to get you go, going with material forever. Come on, we'll wait. We'll wait as long as it takes. Yeah. We'll do it. But, and maybe, you know, we're, maybe we're going full circle because we started this morning with Bruce Jenner and we're going to sort of end this uh, bout of hot topics kind of with The Bachelorette, <laughs> which was on last night. And apparently romance is in the air, heading in a direction that I think a lot of people never saw coming. Take a look. I feel like I've connected with JJ probably more than Caitlyn right now because we're just so similar. It's actually absolutely insane. I never thought that I'd meet someone like that here. We've grown very close, almost too close, I think, at times, in the room and stuff like that, and in the shower. The possibility of coming onto The Bachelorette and falling in love with a man never crossed my mind. But I believe in the process, and at this point, I'm a success story. You can fall in love with anybody. It doesn't always have to be sex, although it might be, but it could not It could not have been. And I think that it's about time for an LGBT, LGBT bachelorette or bachelor on TV. It's necessary. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry to be a buzz scale, but I think they are hot, drunk, and bored. You think it's a stunt? I think they are hot, drunk, and bored. Oh and only, only, like, one guy gets the girl, and so they're like, eh, what else is here? <laughs> put it like this. People have been saying for quite a long time that it is time for uh, the bachelor or bachelorette uh, to be a same-sex bachelor or bachelorette. And maybe this is their step in that direction. But, you know, love is in the air, honey. Romance. You get it where you can. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You do. You get it where you can. Big shocker. I watched it last night. I was like, oh my gosh. Why, why were you shocked? I just, it just came out of nowhere. I'm like, when he was like, I'm falling in love with him, I'm like, okay, romance, real romance. I'm like, holy mm -hmm. shit. <laughs> I'm a Here's a show, and here's a show coming up. Yeah. The Bachelor, for real. <laughs> for real. One of my favorite people, this is going in a whole other direction, which you're used to, but one of my favorite people and one of my good friends, the master of horror, the fabulous Stephen King, has a brand new book out called Find His Keeper.
proper, stand your ground uh, come into being. It's like, well, it came in a while ago, and if you had been paying attention, because these are the laws that affect you. Where do Not we go? Where do we go? Where do you go? You go to the people with the information. You ask questions. You got, you know, where did we go? We went to people, we had less information than you guys got. We had three, <laughs> we, in the old days, <laughs> we only had three networks. <laughs> find whatever you want and never leave your house but you will only go this deep yes. if you want it, she's changing the world she's an AIDS activist an education activist she's changing policy if you want to have an impact you got to get up and go to the Hillary Clinton you rally if that's out. your side you got to go to the Jeb Bush rally when he comes to wherever you live you, you've got to go and listen to these guys you got to get a spot on the rope line and say how would you vote on the constitutional amendment to ban gay marriage how what would you do but and I then you got to I mean see I just don't see that happening well, well, then, well, then, then you, you, then you, you can't you cannot bitch about what what it is you can change it it will change it will evolve it always will but for right now this is what we need we need y'all to stand up and say we don't like stand your ground rules because it affects us un in, in agree, crazy ways going to Hillary Clinton rally is, is, is gonna that, that way is gonna make that happen may I say well, something? It, it, I? It's a, that was I'm sorry baby that was one thing right. that was sh what she was right. suggesting what I think we're saying is I, you I have to get out Rally. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> but what we're saying is that right now, as we go into this transition, you guys have to become more proactive, and you have to know that a lot Not of folks you are guys. trying to I catch think you up. Know everybody. You know, well, well, but I know. we're talking about old folks and young folks. They also, you know? uh, what about online voting? I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off, Miss Rosa. But yeah. what about online voting? You say nobody can come out. You have it on a Tuesday. It's been that way since voting rights were in place. We have been change trying to it. change. Well, we can't change it until y'all start bitching right. about it. I'm too. bitching. All right. <laughs> When I did become an AIDS activist, I was very young. I was 19 years old. And did you march? And did you get meetings? Prior to that, I was saying, why is there an AIDS epidemic? How come there isn't a cure? Um, how do I... How, how do I not letting people go to the I, hospital? How, yes. Or get why, How do I fight this? I didn't know. I didn't know, and there was this wonderful woman named Lori Fabiano, mm -hmm. who was the head of the GMHC. Yep. I went to her. I went to her and I said, please teach me about advocacy.